Hello everybody and welcome to my Smackdown review for March 10th, 2023. I didn't make a predictions video or I didn't post on my community because I forgot and I didn't have time. I told you it's Friday, very busy. But I'm here with my results. Anyways guys, let's get into them. So we start off tonight showing what happened on Raw and then they show backstage. The Usos are pulling in with Paul Heyman, and Paul Heyman said he was happy to have Jay back, and Jay said he was going to say whatever he wanted to say in the ring later tonight. The show kicked off with the Fatal Five Way number one contenders match for the Intercontinental Championship. Winner faces Gunter at WrestleMania. And, well, see, Xavier Woods is here. It was supposed to be Kofi Kingston, but Kofi got hurt last week in the Brawl, so it was this match. And towards the end, uh, Goon, not Gunter, uh, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus are facing off, and then, well, I'll take Kieran Cross out, because he was out of the equation here, uh, and then, Xavier Woods came from the top row, bro kick, Sheamus kind of scuffed it, then LA Knight came out of nowhere, Claymore by McIntyre, one, two, three, Sheamus and McIntyre both pinned each, pinned, Sheamus pinned Woods, McIntyre pinned LA Knight at the same time. And they were, I thought they were going to announce a triple threat, but no. Next week, it's going to be Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre. We're going to going to our WrestleMania, but please, please make this a triple threat match. Then we saw Paul Heyman backstage saying that he, he is going to deal with Cody Rhodes, him, and the Tribal Chief at WrestleMania. Then they were going to announce the um, first inductee into the Hall of Fame 2023. And I was like, oh, who's going to be? And I was surprised that it was Rey Mysterio. Yep, Rey Mysterio was the first inductee. I was like, don't you need to be retired to do that? But it was Rey Mysterio, so he came out to do a promo. But, of course, before he can really say anything, you get Dominic Mysterio. But not just Dominic Mysterio. With Donning Mysterio, you get Damian Priest. And not just Damian Priest, you get Finn Balor. And well, not just Finn Balor, you get Rhea Ripley. Well, I don't got Rhea Ripley. Man, Finn Balor's really in that light. This can stand. Yep. So they were arguing. Dominic says, what a horrible, why did WWE elect you into the Hall of Fame? I mean, it is well-deserved. I was just confused because I thought you needed to be retired. You know, Dominic started talking trash. And then we had Legado del Fantasma come out. And, well, I don't have any other Legado del Fantasma figures other than Santos Escobar. So Legado del Fantasma came out. And they have a, and they had a scheduled match. And Santos Escobar said, how about let's have this match right now. So I'll get Rey Mysterio out the way. He, he was there. He was in their corner. But it was... Legado del Fantasma versus the Judgment Day. And it was a it was a good match. But of course, because of Rhea Ripley and shenanigans like that, the Judgment Day win. And then Dominic said, Let let me have the floor. So I just put Dominic and Balor were on the outside along with Rhea. And then Dominic wanted to have face to face with Ray. So Santos Escobar came out. So they're having a face to face. And Dominic said he I'm more of Eddie's, I'm more like Eddie's son than you are. And then he was like, oh my God. And then Ray was just going to leave and Dominic was trying to hit him, but Ray got out and then he fell, he fell through the ropes. And then Dominic said, you're going to fight me. And Ray's like, I'm not going to fight you. So that's what happened. Ray is the first inductee into the 2023 Hall of Fame. Next, we had Ricochet and Ron Strowman versus the Viking Raiders. I know I said it on here at least once. Ricochet is my favorite wrestler in WWE right now. And you know, I like Braun Strowman too, but like I want him to be at WrestleMania, which he's probably not going to be at WrestleMania. And having him teaming with Braun Strowman, I don't know. And against the Viking Raiders, no one cares about the Viking Raiders. You can do whatever you want to them. Viking Raiders, nobody cares about them. I could care less about the damn Viking Raiders. And it looked like Ricochet and Braun were going to win. And then Braun got launched into the table. Ivar did a big splash on the top rope. And well, the Viking Raiders win. Bronson Reed already does a splash off the top rope. We don't need two people doing a splash off the top rope. And I think Bronson Reed does it better. But the Viking Raiders win. Nobody cares. Then we had Charlotte Flair versus Shotzi because Charlotte Flair wanted an opponent. And, well, she got Shotzi. And it was a good match. And it was lengthy, but we knew Charlotte Flair was going to win. And Charlotte Flair did win. During the match, Rhea Ripley, mommy, came out. 
and then they had a face to face. Rhea said that you are going to lose at WrestleMania. Uh, there's not much, there's not not much build around the match, but who's gonna win? I think Rhea Ripley's gonna win at WrestleMania. Then in the main event, the Ooh shows came out to talk about what happened on Monday Night Raw. But in the graphic I'm about to show you right now, uh, it said like Jey Uso uh comes home to the bloodline. It shows Roman Reigns, but Roman Reigns is nowhere to be seen tonight. Why? I don't know. Even in the bra even in the uh graphic it showed Roman. No Roman, but we'll see. Uh so they were talking on why he did it because he had to do it. Jimmy is family. Sammy is not family. Then they started talking about Cody Rhodes because they're like, We're done with Sammy. Now we need to deal with some more business and you say his name, he hears his name, he comes out. The American nightmare, Cody Rhodes comes out and he starts talking back he's like i don't i think i don't think these people want us want to hear us talk they want to hear us fight and well i wanted to see you guys fight too and then cody was taking all of his all of his because he had a suit on and from out of nowhere sammy came and went right after jay bull rushed and then cody and jimmy were going after each other all four of these men were fighting everywhere and, oh but let's get all these bums out of here. Get, get the Usos out of here. But, you know, of course, the baby faces stood tall. Sami Zayn and Cody Rhodes stood tall in the end. And that's how SmackDown ended. Where's Kevin Owens? Kevin Owens needs to show up and help Sami because, you know, Cody Rhodes is going to fight Roman Mania. But that's how SmackDown ended. If you guys want to enjoy, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.